Okay, I have a Hewlett Packard laptop battery here. I'm going to crack it open and uh, see what kind of uh, cells it has inside it. Um, let's see what's special about this. It's lithium ion, of course. So I'm going to see if I can harvest some uh, batteries out of this for my flashlights. Uh, 47 watts. And it says watt hours. That's about all it says about it. So. Uh, let's crack it open and see what we got. Alright, I got one, two, three, four, five, six lithium cells in there. Um, I'm going to try and harvest them all and see how they, if they charge or not. Uh, they look like LG, so they're LG D S31. Uh, okay, well, 18650s, which is what exactly they are, they're 18650s. That's, uh, you know, what I thought I would find in here. What uh, rating they are? Well, I'll have to look them up and see what they come up as. Okay, I've looked that number up on that cell and that is a 2200 milliamp uh, battery. So I'm going to take them out and see if I can charge them up and see what the result is. Here's me taking them out. I use a Dremel to cut the case open. Now there's the circuitry and the glue. And that's all coming off. I'm going to unsolder it all right from the back and I'll probably just cut those uh, tabs with a Dremel so I can uh, see how they work in my flashlight okay be careful with these they're really sharp as you can see I caught myself doing this uh, I just take the tabs and peel them off with a pair of needle nose like this so just roll them off and then you have the a little bit of a, a burr left on the battery itself from the weld points and you know just rub them down uh, you can even dremel them uh, a little bit and get the sharp edges off of them and then on both sides of the battery the glue is just silicone it, it'll just rub off it just pull it off it'll work at it it'll come off um, careful not to break the jacket though. The, the jacket's uh, important as, it, as it's insulating the outside uh, of the battery from uh, short. So um, just do the same for the, all the batteries in, in uh, the series and then stick them in your charger see if they work. Okay here are the six cells I got out of this uh, battery pack. That's what's left of the battery pack. It's just a casing. Some electronics that I ripped off and I peeled off the uh, little tabs on the ends of them as you can see I've, I've also uh, somewhat uh, ground, ground down all the little nubs the welding nubs that were left so that they are not dangerous to me anymore uh, there's some glue left on that but you could just peel that off using some sort of uh, a scraper but not metal use something plastic or uh, uh, you know wooden something soft that won't scrape the uh, actual jacket off because the jacket is insulating the negative part of the battery so I'm going to put these into a charger and see how they work. Okay, here I have a 502B, WF502B Ultra Fire uh, pre-LED to flashlight. I'm just going to stick these. I haven't even charged these yet. So I'm just going to stick them in and see how they fit. They fit. Looks like it fits. Let's see if it works. Yep. I'm getting an output out of it. That's good. So I got one hopeful battery there out of a dead battery pack again you know this is just something I'm doing for fun uh, instead of throwing that battery pack out or recycling it I'm gonna try and see what I can get out of it and another one with juice in it so far too now these are about I don't know for if for real ones which what these these are real batteries they're not protected batteries but they're real lithium batteries and they're they're you know 2200 milliamp aha found my dead one so out of all of these so far I got one dead one that's probably what calf the whole uh, pack let's see what we have with the rest I'm gonna try that one more time just just to make sure and I was wrong look at that it does work I just didn't get good contact on it Yep, seems to work. Seems nice and bright too. 
Thought that was dead, but it's not. Here's another one. Yep. Got juice in that too. Got juice in that one too. Every single cell is live in that. Okay, well that's good news. Now I'm going to charge them up and fully charge them and use them and see how much uh, charge time I get on these uh, compared to my UltraFire batteries. Okay, so I am going to take that glue off them too because it makes it hard to put it in and out of the battery, out of the fast flashlight. Alright, these little nubs from uh, the weld points of those tabs that were on these are kind of sharp even on the back as well and um, I don't want to scratch up the surface, mating surfaces on my flashlights so what I did is I used some sandpaper actually a sanding wheel on my Dremel and smoothed them right down to nice and that worked really well um, so I'm going to do that for all of them I suggest that you do too if you're going to do this because these are rather sharp and uh, my, bad, my flashlights have a uh, uh, printed circuit board contacts and I think they would just scrape right through them eventually because they're very sharp. Okay, well, there's the nice polished sanded uh, ends. They're nice and smooth. Um, one of the biggest predictors I see of, of battery life or battery strength other than the manufacturer's spec from LG, you know it's going to be true. Um, so, these are 2700 milliamps or 2200 milliamps. I'm Okay, so here's the battery, the LG DS318650, uh, and the 18650 is the actual size of the battery. Uh, this is a 2200 milliamp uh, hour battery. I looked it up on the internet, and that's what I found. Now, this came out of an HP branded uh, power pack. Let's see if I have it here. Here we go. And uh, it said that it was 10.8 volts. Uh, 4200 milliamp hours, but that's for the entire battery pack So at this point I would say uh, Just judging by the weight of it that it's uh, uh, You know more or less uh, a hefty battery and that you know I'd have to say it's real because it came out of an HP branded uh, Pack with the LG the right the correct LG uh, Number on it, but then again, you know China can knock off anything. So let's, let's just test the weight of it Okay, and it's 1.5 uh, ounces. Let me try that again. Yeah, 1.5. Now, here I have one of these UltraFire knockoffs or UltraFire batteries that they say 4,500 milliamp hours. I highly doubt they are. Um, I'm going to test them ag against these um, on using my uh, uh, secure tying uh, flashlight. But, you know, that's, again, 1.6 ounces. 1.3 ounces. I guarantee you that this one is going to last longer than that one, uh, just on the weight alone. Let me give you another example of a you know of cheap batteries that are ripoffs. Here's one I got from China. It's a uh, 3,000 milliamp hours, 1.2 volt rechargeable. Okay, you know 0.5 ounces on a and it's a double A. Okay, now here's a real double A with 200 2,200 milliamp hours. That's a hefty little rechargeable battery. Um, it weighs twice the amount. It's one ounce. Okay, it actually lasts about three or four times longer than this battery by you know a long stretch. So this is you know these numbers are absolutely a lie. There's no way those numbers are real. I don't know if you can actually see that or not from overexposing it. Let me just check this again. Okay, there that'll help. And there it is. You know, it, it, like I said, that's an absolute lie. Um, so, comparing these two, uh, the manufacturer's number, um, the weight, I actually think it's even thicker. Let me uh, measure that. Okay, you got 1.83, sorry, 18.13. Eighteen point one one, yeah. So it is thicker. 
Uh, but it's heavier too, so I'm thinking the more material in it, the better the battery. Uh, now, these batteries aren't bad, but there's no way, no way that they're 4,500 milliamp hours. Uh, these are 22, so I figure these are about 15. Um, but I'm going to set, test them on my uh, flashlight and see what kind of an output I get. Uh, now, I put them in my little charger, and they all fully charged. Let me see if they're still fully charged. Yep, still fully charged. So, you know, um, I don't see the downside to harvesting these. They all work. Uh, they work fine in my uh, flashlights. And uh, again, if you're harvesting these from a uh, laptop battery pack, you know, you will, you have to know that they're unprotected, okay? So their best use is a single uh, battery and a single uh, flashlight. Um, but I mean, I've used them in multiple uh, configurations without any issue at all. But again, they're not protected, so you have to be aware of the dangers of that. So, uh, thank you very much for watching my uh, battery harvesting video. And uh, good luck to you. And hopefully, you got one of these old battery packs kicking around that's still good. Thanks.